Hey guys, uh, my name is Avik, and this is going to be a beginner tutorial for Mocha. And what we're going to do here is on this clip, we've got these billboards outside, and we're going to put our own poster on one of these billboards, and this is what's going to happen. All right? So we're going to replace this picture this poster or this poster all right so let's start create a new composition actually let's just create a new composition the way I normally like to do uh, this is the footage so drag the footage to composition we have our new composition and let's import the poster uh, we want. Actually, before we do that, let's go to Mocha. And so Mocha comes with After Effects. You don't have to buy Mocha Pro. So all we're going to do is go to Effect. Uh, oh, sorry. Animation. Uh, track in Mocha AE. And it's going to start Mocha for us. And okay, so we've got our name of the file, where it's located. All right, we're not going to go into all of this. I'm going to assume that you know, you know, how file systems work. Okay, so we're working on frames from zero to fifty-six. So we have 57 frames here, uh, and that's, this is our frame rate, and pixel aspect ratio, we're all good here. I'm just going to click OK. It's asking me if I want to overwrite, and I'm just going to say yes, because uh, I was working on this file before. All right, so here is our clip. All right, so... What, I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm going to assume you're a beginner. Just follow what I do, okay? We're not going to go through every single uh, menu item. Uh, just the important things. Most important thing is the X-Pline. See this pen with the X here? Just click, make sure you're clicked on this. And we're going to track this plane. So Mocha tracks planes. You can see clearly that this plane is different from this plane. There are different planes. So we're going to track this plane here. So let's give Mocha enough information on this plane. And it's not like Adobe After Effects tracking. And so, by the way, in order to get rid of this last uh, link, you just hit the right click. Right click your mouse, okay? All right. So we're basically telling Mocha, I want you to track this entire plane. Not corners, but everything inside this plane. As it moves, I want you to track it. Okay, track the entire thing. All right, let's track this thing. So you're going to come down here. You see where it says track, you can track forward, track backwards, we're the very first frame of the clip, so we're going to track forwards, and this is going to track one frame at a time, okay, or you can just track forward, and it's going to keep tracking forward. Alright, so our track is done, you can see that this selection tracks with the poster. Now, here's what we have to do. Go up here, hit this where it says S, okay? Click that button and you're going to see this box, right? Now the idea for this box is when you put your image, when you put your poster in here, this is where the poster goes, okay? This box. All right, so like I'll show you what I mean. Like let's say I'm just going to put in a logo. This is where 
the poster is going to go. So as it tracks, the box is going to contain your picture. So let's get rid of this. So what it means is we have to make this box look like our billboard. So let's go to the top corner. I mean, just this doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Right corner again. Right about there. Left corner, bottom. Come on. It's good. And there you go. All right, so now if we put that picture back, you can see that it's taking the plane. All right? So that's the idea. So we're going to get rid of that again. So when we go back to After Effects and put our picture in here, this is where that picture is going to go. So first of all, let's say, all right, let's just go back to After Effects real quick. So now we're going to take our poster, the poster we want to put on that billboard. And the poster, what it really looks like is this, OK? This is what this poster looks like. We want this poster to go on here, OK? So let's take it back to 100. Now what you're going to do is once this poster is here, go to Layer, Precompose, and let's call this thing Poster. And leave all attributes is fine. Open new composition, fine. All right, so we have a new composition called poster. What you have to do is go back to this composition and see what are the composition settings. It's 1920 by 1080, OK? So go back to the poster. This is the trick. This is the key to making sure that Mocha works the way you want it to, OK? So in this composition, the poster composition, go back to composition, composition settings, and change it to 1920 by 1080, OK? Now, let's scale this thing down. And no matter what the size of the poster, if it's bigger than your composition, smaller than your composition, Take the poster, make it the size of the composition. This is key, all right, just to making sure Mocha works properly, OK? So let's go back to our composition. So this is what we have. The idea is that when you go to Mocha and when you say, export tracking data see where my mouse is export tracking data go down to this drop down box and click on after effects corner pin supports motion blur okay and then say copy to clipboard then go to back to after effects and then at the beginning of your clip on the poster on the poster, not on your clip, but on the poster, hit Control V or Edit Paste Control V. Okay, simple Control V or Edit Paste. And that's it. There you go. It basically took the poster composition and reduced it to the planar surface. Okay? Whatever you chose a planar surface to be, that's where it took that 
pre-comp and put the pre-comp on the planar surface. Okay? So if you do a RAM preview, all right? So now it doesn't quite look like it belongs in this environment quite yet. So let's go back to our pre-comp and let's just touch this up a little bit, okay? Uh, let's go to layer, new solid. And we're gonna do this dark blue thing here, okay? Because this is a poster that's in the distance and the further you have things away from you, the kind of bluer they are. Hit T for transparency or opacity and just do like a 35 percent if you go back to the billboard now now it looks a lot darker than it did before it kind of still doesn't look like it belongs here this is a little bit more bluish uh, but we're just going to go with this for now it's better than completely white all right I think it looks like it belongs here just fine. So that's it. That's your Mocha tutorial. You just put up your own poster on the main square of your town, whatever town that is, New York City, Times Square in New York City, or Dundas Square here in Toronto. Thank you for watching. Hope this tutorial was useful.